Marco. No, you say Polo. Oh. I don't like to talk about this, but many years ago, I myself overcame an addiction. I could not get enough of the ponies. Go Razzmatazz. Go Razzmatazz. Go Razzmatazz. Boy, winning by a head. I lost everything. Stevie and I were beat cops together. We called ourselves the Beatsy Boys. And yeah, it was as cool as it sounds. So y'all would just stand around like that? Yeah. All the time. Totally get it. My first partner was also pretty cool. Everyone called us Chucky and the Coot. You know, I never smoked. But I did once have an addiction. Food. It got bad. You're not closed. It's six o'clock. I need my moose you pork. I need my moose too. We were doomed the minute she slithered into the precinct. It's funny. When we first met, we had some good times. Looks like we both want that stapler. Seems that way, based on what happened. <laughs> <laughs> a few years back, I had a minor addiction specifically involving the ponies. I'd like to bet $20,000 on Yaba Daba Do. I had the same exact one when I was a kid. Mom, Charles is hogging my dog. You want some help, big man? No, I can do this. In 1981, he caught the Disco Strangler. It's over, Disco Man. Put down the yo-yo and back away from the girl. Madeline. Would you care for a drink? I'd love one. I'm sure you can tell I'm quite drunk. I've had a couple to build up the nerve. I think we both know what I'm about to say. Raymond, I don't think we need to say anything. I'm gay. That's what I was going to tell you. Well then. She sabotaged my career because I refused to bed her. I was really excited about my first day at the 6 five. But the guys in the squad were a bunch of jerks. Hi, I'm Terry. Which desk is mine? Solve a case, then you get a desk. They were like that about a lot of stuff. Whoa. Solve a case, then you get coffee. Solve a case, then you can sign Debbie's birthday card. Sounds like you needed to solve a case. Exactly. So I picked the biggest one I could find. A string of B&Es, all with the same M.O. Guy climbed in through high-rise windows. After a month, I found my suspect, Dimitri Kuzco. An ex-acrobat with a criminal record. Circus trash. It has to be him. That's exactly what I said. Circus trash. It has to be him. I tracked down my acrobat, got SWAT to surround his building. There was no way anything could go wrong. NYPD down! Get on the ground! See your head! Uh-oh. My guy had a terrible trapeze fall two years prior. Snapped his spine in half. So why the kitten? Well, in the moment, I may have gotten a little flustered. Look, he's got a cat. He trained a cat to do the robberies. That's why they call him Cat Burgers. Oh, why is no one saying anything? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I lost the ability to procreate after the accident. That's the weapon! <laughs> yeah, I still don't know why you dove in crotch first. I was also a model train enthusiast as a child. Those miniature tracks provided me with some of my happiest memories. All aboard! The train will be departing in 45 minutes. Peralta, can I confess something to you? I didn't throw Frederick's duck in the garbage. Yes, I know, sir. I didn't throw the duck in the garbage. I threw it off a bridge. 
What did the officials say when you got married? Not much. When gay marriage was legalized, we weren't sure if or when it was going to be struck down. So speed was of the essence. And do you, Kevin? Yes. And do you? Yes, yes, we do. We're married. I remarked afterwards that I wish the efficient had been more efficient. <laughs> It was very funny. Look, Sarge, I think everyone knows that I planted the idea in Jake's head eight years ago. Oh, hi. I I'm starting today, Detective Santiago. Oh, Detective Peralta, welcome aboard. <laughs> I'm hearing wedding bells. Hi, Detective Boyle. It actually really slowed things down. It took like four years for me to forget that memory. Yeah, my own worst enemy.